Hi Andy, as promised part two of your recap relating to the long game changes that we prescribed. What we're seeing here at the start of your session is a slight maintenance of the forward bend that you had at address. So you do get rid of it, but you don't maybe get rid of it as much as we'd like. And the reason you look stacked over the top of the golf ball is because you've cheated a little bit. You've kept the upper center over the ball, but that is because the lower body has slid towards the target. So there's that sort of sagging of the hips. Uh, and then from there, you were getting out in front of it a little bit too soon. And as you can see from the top of your backswing, everything gets a little bit too much out in front of you. And from there, the wrists start to uncock very quick. The head has to come off the wall to accommodate the expanding radius. We've got a lot of random toe end strikes, uh, potential heel strikes, a lot of variations there because of what's going on uh, during the downswing as a result of what you've done in the backswing. So the first change we prescribed was the idea of doing the Frosbury flop where you really max out the extension of the upper body and the pelvis. You can see as I make that change to you there at the top center, I'm not just extending your spine. As I'm pulling your spine towards me, I'm actually pushing your hips in this direction. So I'm actually extending your pelvis as well as the upper spine. I think you extend your upper spine quite well, to be honest with you. You just don't extend your pelvis enough. So the extension has to be right, left, right ankle, right knee, pelvis, thoracic, neck, etc., etc. As we add the extension, now this is a posed uh, swing, I appreciate that, but you're going to get the idea in a sec. As we, I beg your pardon, as we improve our ability to extend the pelvis um, and stretch out to zero during the backswing, if you were when we're showing you the graphs, the amount that the left arm can travel is increased. So you see, as I extend the pelvis, and stretch the spine off, the left arm travels a little bit. I appreciate it. It'll go further than that in your actual swing. If you use your body effectively, that will, will require less of a lifting of the arms. One of the things you've talked about in the past, which you don't do as much as you used to, is there used to be a lifting and collapsing of the arms, which resulted in that sort of throwing off move. And again, that's diminished somewhat since we started doing the online sessions as things have started to improve, but it's still in there. Now, part of that is because of the old move that you used to make where the body, you know, if we go back to the original footage, you watch your original online lesson, there was a lot of forward bend being maintained. There was limited freedom of movement of the left arm. So it was always picked up and a little bit collapsed at the top, resulting in a cast and a throwaway move on the way down. The other thing we then talked about was the degree or the amount at which you rotate through. Um, when we watch the, I'll just put that back to what it was. So we want to get rid of or reduce this sort of forward bend that's being maintained here. And this sort of hip sag towards the target that we're seeing on the original footage. So the idea of the Frosbury flop. That's the feel. Try and max it out as much as you can. You see the two swings. Uh, if we get rid of the images there. Or the lines. Ignore that line. There we go. So it's a completely different sort of opposite end of the spectrum. Pelvis has been extended uh, much better. The spine's not really done too much differently. Uh, but certainly the knees, the hips um, have worked differently. Towards the end of your session or middle of your session, should I say, we were propelling the butt of the club further. We were staying much more on top of the ball. We weren't rotating through the ball as quick, which I'll come to in a second. And all in all, it was getting much tidier. But you can see there now that that sort of forward bend that's been maintained has started to diminish. And the hips haven't necessarily moved as far towards the target during the backswing. So a little bit more of a stable hip girdle that's extending on the way back. During the downswing, there was a lot of 
Um, a lot of rotation very early in the piece. That pulls the left arm out. Starts the right arm to straighten too fast. Starts the wrist to uncock. And as a result, the head's got to come off the wall to prevent the club thumping into the ground six or seven inches back of that. So what we're doing here is we've got the box in place to discourage an into out angle of attack. And that's all we're trying to do with that box. We don't want to encourage, uh, we don't want to overthink things too much. We're just trying to swing out to the right a little bit more. We've got the mitten down on the mat initially just to prevent you flinching and pulling the club in towards you on the way through. And then this is towards the end of your session. I've got the club across the, the head to help control your inclination to the ground. So on the way back, nice move back. Good position at the top. A little bit less of a cast. Right arm doesn't get pulled out straight as quick. Left arm isn't moving out towards the ball. A much improved delivery position at that point. Big differences there. Then on the way through, we're attacking it from the inside. A little bit of a toe end strike because of that little flinch we talked about. And as you come through the golf ball, a little bit more polished look to the finish where we haven't lost the inclination to the ground quite as much. And we talked about having more right tilt in the finish. And we talked about policing that by using the angle of the eyes in the follow through. So a lot of boy, you know, what we're saying is, you know, the box down on the ground when you practice, in your case, why wouldn't you? Um, every time you practice, you want to be encouraging that angle of approach that you see in here, tidying up that P6 position. Obviously, I'm not going to be there with a club across your head, but if you lot, hit a lot of shots where you're stopping at P9, and making sure that the eyes are tilted over more, then you're going to be in a good position and certainly a lot more um, organised through the hit. We also talked just briefly about your takeaway because one of the things we've discussed in the past is this rolling of the golf club. And I thought this footage was a nice, we've got the club in the belly button. And the thought here is to just keep it in the belly button until you're at waist level, which shows there that there's no loading of accumulator three you can see the glove pointing down to the ground still the club face is very square to the arc of the swing at this point and then from there it can start to load as that right arm softens and you take it to the top but i just thought that drill for you from set up to waist level with the hands that's a very good feeling uh, and a very good exercise to focus your mind on uh, maybe when you're away from the golf course uh, other thoughts that we discussed were trying to propel the butt of the golf club as far as you can without any arm swing. The arms will travel, but without any use of the arms. And that's going to encourage you to learn to left tilt, turn and extend uh, to the maximum amount to try and get as much travel on the club as you can. So, again, all things are going to encourage you to get rid of that forward bend. Uh, hope this makes sense to you. I'm sure it does. I mean, you had a great session. I uh, seemed really happy when you left. Hope you had a safe journey home. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line uh, or pick up the phone and provide them free. We can have a nice little chat. I've not opened the whiskey. I'm keeping that until we get you down to 18, which is going to happen. The can of tenants, I'm afraid, is going to get demolished tonight. So it's my Thursday night treat. I'm going to watch the golf at Pebble Beach and have a can of lager on you. Thanks very much. Uh, it's great to see you. Great to meet you. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy the learning process as we go forward in the coming months. Well done.